preachers of the Old Testament who says this thing. You know, you know, person who is a law minded he says this thing. You need to seek God with your heart. You need to seek God with your soul, with your all your mind, with your all your spirit. You need to go behind this righteousness. You know, if you can't shine in the front of God, you're so righteous, you are so evil. You know, you know, this this thing condemns you. He says, you, you, you know, you, are, you have sin inside you, that's why you can't come in the presence of God. You have this, you have that, you have done this wrong, you can't come in His presence. You know, and you, you, you are very sad then after that day. Hey, I, I, really, I can't come in the presence of God. I can't have His righteousness. I want to say, the, the, the new edition of righteousness is a gift. It will never be taken out of you. It will never ever be taken out of you. Maybe you do anything. Maybe you do anything. The, the new testament righteousness is inside you. I say the best thing, the New Testament God or the God we serve, Jesus, is inside you. He's not outside. Whenever you sin, He doesn't come outside of you. Many, many people are terrible. Many, many, you know, there are many people who say, You have sinned in a lab, that's why, that's, why you, that's why this thing has happened to you. You have done this thing, that's why this thing has happened to you. No, man, people will give you thousands of things. People will tell you thousands of things. But we, we do not need to believe it. Why do you need to believe it? How can you arrange your life? Only to give up His righteousness and the, and the gift of His grace. That's so why I believe the abundance of grace. So you can you can walk in His grace. You can walk in His righteousness. You don't have to seek something. You don't have to seek His righteousness. He's giving you as a gift. And you, you have the gift inside you. Only need to believe that all things shall be added. Only, only this is remaining. All things shall be added. How shall it can be added? We, we need to speak the word of God. We need to speak the word of God. We need to speak the word of God. No, not only this. You know, you, you need to ask God for wisdom. When you have wisdom, automatically it brings success. I say in other words, wisdom, the Greek is it. Wisdom is the advantage to success. Or wisdom is the advantage for success. You know, and the third thing, you depend upon his grace for success. The God, God has given you to grace. You have to receive it by faith. You know, then, uh, let me end by saying this thing. You know, the word of God says uh, in the book of Psalm, the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. And like, like, a, like a cedar tree. I want to tell you something about the palm tree. You know, you know how is the palm tree? You know how the palm tree, I want to tell you something about the palm tree. Now, I want everybody to listen very carefully to this, this small thing about the palm tree. You know, you know of the palm tree, it, it can live almost more than 350 years. It can live almost more than 350 years. And it almost grows uh, above 80 feet. And it's always evergreen actually. You know, I want to say something about the palm tree. The word of course is that you are, you are righteousness. You are righteous people shall flourish like a palm tree. Who shall have success like a palm tree. What do I mean by as a palm tree or as, as, a, as a cigar tree? Palm tree, you know, in a palm tree, everything on the palm tree is, is useful, everything. How much fruit to his, to his everything is useful. And what, does, and what is the advantage of cigar tree? You know, when Solomon built a temple with the, with the same wood, cigar tree. Today, if you have a cigar tree in a house, or if you have the woods or cigar wood in a house, I'm giving a guarantee. No cockroaches or no insects will come to it. Because this is the advantage of cedar tree or cedar wood. Many, many people don't use cedar wood because it's very costly. But if you have cedar wood, there are no properties or no, no plants or nothing can come to you. You know, you know the, the, the reason behind it? Because cedar, cedar tree has a certain kind of oil. It, the oil is such a, it, it has a very best thickness. You know, but none of the insects or none of the flies or none of any insects can ever touch it. Because the thickness is so good, but they can't touch it. I don't know the reason why, because the oil, it has an oil which can't make any even, even insects to touch it. But you know what, what the Bible says? You are like a cedar tree. You are like a cedar tree. Today, today you, are, you, you are a righteous person. You are like a cedar tree. You know what you say? No sickness will touch you. No demons will touch you. No, no disease will touch you. No infirmity will touch you. Because you have that oil of an oil inside you. Nothing, should, nothing can touch you. This is the last thing I want to say. You know, the word of God says, there is hope why I'm saying about the tree. Let me, let me tell you why I'm saying about the tree. Because the word of God says, you meditate upon day and day night. Will, like a, will be like a tree planted by the riverside. Will be like a tree planted by the riverside. I want to tell you one thing. The word of God says in the book of Job. You know, in the book of Job, you, you won't find anything, something, something important. But here there is something important. The word of God says in the book of Job, that there, there is hope for a tree. There is hope for a tree, even if it's cut down. Even if it's cut down. Again, example, if it's, even if a chopper tree, even if it's cut down. But the scent of his waters, only by the scent of his waters shall be made alive. 
you may think how is this how is possible if, if i cut the tree and only the smell of the water can make it alive this uh, this is a uh, thing which we think uh, is not uh, normal but this is really normal if you if you cut a tree and, you, and you just put a tree uh, below uh, river or something you know that the smell i would even the water the smell of the water only the smell of the water you know, water, water has, has a has a fragrance you know, the, 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 you know the pure water has a, has a fragrance and then uh, we are breathing whatever that's a water that doesn't have a good smell actually you know, good fragrance but, but the pure water hundred percent pure water has a smell actually and it has a good fragrance what a boss say that, that you may you may the smell of the waters and say you know you may have the smell of the waters even that these become alive and say what do you mean if you cut a tree into two pieces I not see even 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 half. I'll say full two pieces. We cut three into two pieces. You know the water bottle. There is hope for a tree. Even if we cut it two pieces, by the smell of the water, by the thing I'll give them. This is a tree. And even the water is going down by the smell of the water. But just by the smell of the water, it will be made alive once again. Bible says this. Bible says there is hope for a tree. 